Are you ready to give forever permanent photo storage a test drive? I'm here to give you an introduction to the forever intro account. I'm Molly Bartelt and I own Pixology, where our team helps people go from being overwhelmed and frustrated with their photo collections to feeling relieved and confident that they can enjoy their pictures and their memories, share them today, as well as pass them on to future generations. We love using Forever for our clients' photo collections. Heads up, Pixology is an ambassador for forever. And if you click on our links and choose us as your ambassador, we will make a commission on your purchase. We have tested out many different products and we've taught people how to use different photo management options. And we just come back to forever being the simplest solution for our clients. All right, if you don't have a trial account already, click on the link below to sign up. Once you sign up, you will receive an email prompting you to click a button to confirm your email. You're gonna wanna do that. And when you do, you'll receive a second email that says you receive a $20 coupon to use. Now, be sure you use that $20 within 60 days or it will expire. All right, it's time to explore. Forever does offer two ways for you to look at your pictures, actually three. The first is on their website at forever.com where you would log in. And then the second is an app on your phone. The third is an app on the Amazon Fire TV. We're gonna focus on the first one, the website for the most part, and we'll touch upon the app for the phone in a second. When you come in for the first time, you're going to want to go to the albums view. The albums view is where the structure of your photo organization comes together. It is such a, a great thing to take advantage of. And I like for you to click on new album and pick something that you're going to upload pictures for. So I'll just do 2022-09 September photos. I like to upload my pictures once a month and I am going to select the privacy setting for friends and family and I'm just going to click create new album. That brings me to the, the album right into it and I see this upload button so I'm going to click that and it is asking me to upload from my computer and to choose. So I have a folder ready to go family photos and I'm going to just grab a couple here um, and show you how this can work. Okay so we've got seven there and when you drag them into that area it will start uploading the pictures. We got a puppy in September so I have a lot of puppy pictures. One file didn't work so we're going to retry it and now it did. Not sure why that happened, but you never know uh, what can cause a glitch. So I'm going to click I'm done uploading. And now you can see I have a few pictures up here. I'm going to just change the order by the date taken and put the oldest pictures first. And I'm actually really loving this photo. So I can click the check mark. And a lot of options come across the top here that you can do. All I want to do is set it as the album cover. All right. So you now know how to make an album and upload some pictures from your computer. I do want to point out that when you go into a picture, you get all this information on the right hand side. And if it's a favorite photo, that's fun to do. You can add a description and you have the date taken and you can add a tag if you like. So I'll just add in dogs and click that and click save. So that is looking at the picture. There are options across the top here that allow you to, you know, download, zoom, rotate, share. This share icon will be visible in a lot of different places. And when you share from your computer, 
you can copy the link. You can send it in an email, post it in Facebook, send it in a message on Facebook, and even create a QR code. So that is great. Once you're done looking at the photo, you can click the back button. And then you can also click the back button here on the My Albums tab and you'll be at the main view of your albums. Now you can see I have my September photos and it looks so cute. But I am going to just click that down button and move it into my 2022 photos so that I keep this view nice and clean. When I go into the 2022 photos album, now you can see I have albums for each month of the year. These are the family photos that are really important to me and um, it's just kind of a nice way for you maybe to uh, try uploading some of your own pictures. And if you have like a, a family batch of pictures you wanna upload to try, that's great. Just get in the albums view and think about having organization this way. The library view, you can upload pictures here, but they won't be in an album. And I think it's proactive to actually create your album and then upload the pictures because catching up sometimes is uh, something that people <laughs> struggle with finding the time to do. In the library view, you can filter by year and month. And you can also look at which files are showing here. So you could just show your favorites, those that aren't in an album, not tagged, etc. All right, that's the library and albums view. For this trial account, this intro account, I do think it's helpful to look at the projects tab. Here you can create a new print project and possibly use your $20 coupon if you like. And then another tab I think is important is the friends and family. Okay, here is where you can invite friends and when you invite friends, uh, they get a $20 coupon and then you will get a $20 coupon when they confirm their email. Can help, um, you know, for, for a larger purchase perhaps. All right, in the friends and family view, you can set an account manager. And this is where you can set that person who might be able to take on your account someday in the event when you aren't able to. And that's part of what you purchase when you buy a forever account, when you actually pay for storage. And I wanna show you under this little person icon, there is uh, an area for my account. We're gonna click on preservation settings here, although you can look at a lot of other things. Under preservation settings, this is where you'll learn about you know, protecting your pictures for the future and the forever guarantee fund. With the trial account, your pictures are not guaranteed to be migrated to the newest technology or to be around for 100 years. You actually have to upgrade to a paid account. I am happy to talk with you about this if you have questions. Um, there are a lot of different ways you can start off and there are some things to think about, especially with regard to the videos you have as well. So I clicked on that and now I wanna get back to my albums view and I'll just do that. All right, you're gonna to wanna to download the Forever app from Google Play or the App Store on your iPhone. So I'm gonna click it and it's welcoming me with this screen and there's a couple pages of information for you. You can either sign up or click log in. I'm logging into that demo account and when you log in for the first time, Forever is gonna ask you a few questions. Do you want to back up this iPhone? When you're in the intro account, you're gonna just click no, skip this for now. Then it will ask, do you want to automatically add new photos? And at this point, you're gonna just click no, I'll upload manually, all right? If you check either of these to turn on, a lot of stuff is gonna go up into the Forever account that you're taking pictures of that you probably don't wanna preserve for the future. So I'll click no, I'll upload manually. 
do you want to use cellular data? If you're on a unlimited plan, then you can click that. And do you want to receive notifications? This is kind of fun, um, especially if you have friends and family who are using forever as well. Now you probably recognize some of these pictures because we're in that same account that I was showing you before. The home view here kind of gives you a few things to look at. Um, I like to go to the library at the bottom because when I click on the library, right at the top is where I get to see my albums. And that's how I get to my pictures really quickly when I want to find something and share it with people. Let's go into the 2022 photos and we're going to see here it says uh, nine albums but only eight are showing so I'm going to click show all and now I get to see all those albums including the one we just made. So I'm going to click on that and click on that very special photo. When you are using the app on the phone you have the option to edit the information on a picture and I don't like to do this because it's kind of clumsy with your, your phone. I save all my editing for on my computer. The icon that's the arrow pointing to the right at the top is the share button. And it's so cool you can share the photo or share the link when you have a single picture selected. But you'll see that sharing icon in a couple different places. So now it's gray and I'm gonna click on it. And now it's gonna create a link and then I can send it to people on my phone the way I send anything else. So you have a lot of options for getting those pictures out to people you want to see them. All right, that is sharing and then I just want to go back to the home screen here and mention print projects cannot be created in the phone app at this time so you won't find it there. Now if you want to change those settings that we talked about when first logging in these three lines at the top let me click on that again the three lines at the top bring up your kind of your your app options here so the settings is down towards the bottom and this is where you can adjust the um, uploads and auto syncs and those kinds of things. That's my overview of the app for the phone. So this is a quick introduction into how you can get the most out of your intro account with Forever Permanent Photo Storage. Be sure to use that $20 coupon before the 60 days is up. And if you have more questions about Forever, I would love to be a resource for you. I have my Calendly link below where you can schedule some time and, and I'll help you figure out what you need if you want to move forward with using Forever to save your family memories for your future family to come. If you do have questions, leave them in the comments below because if you have it, chances are someone else will too. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.